Hi there, today we will show you how to install the AMD liquid cooling kit that comes stock with the AMD FX9590 CPUs and the AMD FX8150 CPUs. These are the liquid cooling kits provided by SETEC. Okay, the first thing we're gonna have to do is to take out the current uh, brackets on your motherboard, the brackets that support the heatsink for other CPUs. We need to take those plastic brackets out of the motherboard. There is a back plate that's supporting the screws on the back side. Okay, we took the brackets off. Now we can see the back plate right there. This back plate can be reused. It will be used again with the new liquid cooling kit. So keep it. Now on the case, we have a screwdriver. We're strapped. We have the back plate that goes on the other side. Let's take another look at the holes. We have four holes for the screws. Let's take a look at the liquid cooling kit. All right, we have the brackets. There's two parts to it. The washers, there's two washers, the screws, four screws, two washers per screw, the fan and radiator screws with some washers as well, but this is just four washers, and the bracket. We have this bracket that goes to the motherboard and this circular plastic with hold it in place with the pump. It will hold it to the pump, it will hold it together. Let's open the box. And here is the liquid cooling key, the two fans, the AMD fans, the power connection, the pump, the radiator and now the cables join the pump and they move they can the cables can the, the tubes can so they are omnidirectional they can move anywhere we have the connectors the USB internal connector the power input and the two fan connectors now the fans have to be position in the same direction and you can see the arrows that tell you which way the air flows and which air the fans which way the fans are moving and you want to put this in the same direction both fans going in the same direction inside the case or outside the case pulling cool air towards the radiator these are the four screws and we have the back with eight screws total so we're gonna put the first fan pulling the air inside the case because the cold air outside the case it's better for cooling the radiator so it's gonna pull that cold air from outside inside and we're gonna have a 
200 millimeter fan on top that's gonna be pushing that hot air outside the fan and hot air tends to go up so it's gonna go up anyway but the fan is gonna push it outside the case now what we do is we connect both the fan and the radiator to the first screws connected to the case this is gonna keep both of them in place the tubes have to be at the bottom it's better that way so let's do this the screw connects to the fan all the way to the radiator and we do not use washers here It's keeping both of them in place. Okay, that's the last screw. Now we're ready to install the second fan. That's gonna be also pulling that air inside the case towards the 200 millimeter fan on top. Let's just tighten it up a little bit. And now we're gonna use the washers on this one. Same thing, the fans go in the same direction, pulling or pushing the air in the same way, and just hold the fan to the radiator and put the screws in a way that all three are attached together. Alright, while we install this, let me give you some dimensions so you can see if it fits in your case. So the fans that come with the liquid cooling kit, the, they're 120 millimeter fans. That means they're 120 millimeters high and 120 millimeters wide. The depth is 25 millimeters in both fans. The radiator height is 145 millimeters. Width is 120 millimeters. Depth is 50 millimeters. Now together, the radiator and the fans, while they're installed, the height is 145 millimeters, the width is 120 millimeters, and the depth is 100 millimeters. To give you a better idea. Now the pump is connected to the radiator via these two tubes which move in any direction. And the back plate will hold the screws at the other side of the board. These four screws, they have plastic heads, you go here and will hold the pump in place. So on the back side of the board you have to hold the back plate with some kind of adhesive. If it doesn't come with self-adhesive, use a piece of tape perhaps. 
something to keep it there until you can screw all four of the screws holding the pump and the cooling plate that will cool the processor which is installed already so we're gonna use this um, piece of tape right there the pump has the FX logo which is a light that you can control with the Chick Control V software provided it will change the color to any any color you want now the heat dissipator plate is covered with this plastic you take the plastic off and it has thermal paste pre-applied so you don't need to get a third party thermal paste now the washers there's two kinds of washers you gotta look for one that goes below the bracket and one that goes on top of the bracket the circles the holes have to be head they have to be facing out not in you see on the outside of the bracket now these two snap into place so let's try it again this one goes below and this other bracket with three pointy um, plastics go on top and then again the hole has to be pointing out that's where the screws will go now we need to use this bracket and combine it with the pump the pump has all these grooves so what we gotta do is we gotta put the bracket upwards and stop at the grooves so the, you have to align it with the grooves on the pump itself align it and keep it there for a moment on t that will be on top and press this circle will lock it into place it has four points where you gotta press hard so it can stay into place if you can see there that's one we press it that's two it's locking it into place with the grooves on the pump itself let's press that's three and the last one that's four now it's locked into place it's kept and you gotta put it in the right direction so the fx it's spelled correctly basically it's not backwards or sideways you gotta align it so you have two of these washers heading or facing up and two facing down and you put the screws through the washers carefully that will keep them into place and you can screw them into the back plate now it's ready to install and remember it has the thermal paste pre-applied so as you see the FX AMD processor leathers have to be in the, in the right direction in the, the, that's why you gotta put the tubes the tubes to the radiator have to be down and it have to be go down as well on the pump now, now that you put the pump you gotta screw each screw with the with the plastic head a little bit and do it one at a time align them correctly with the back plate the metal back plate depending on your motherboard and screw them one by one one at a time carefully patiently it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna need to use a screwdriver to put some pressure on the pump so it can pr be pressed against the processor just like that
Now the cables, we have four cables per se. We have this cable right here that has the power input for the fans and these other two female that will go each to the two fans in the radiator. So the power cable, we're connecting it to the CPU fan connection here, but that won't work. You need to find a Molex adapter, a Molex fan adapter, so it can provide enough power for two fans instead of one. Connecting it to the CPU fan header won't work. I tried it. So you need a Molex to, to fan connection adapter. They're easy to find. For now, it's in the CPU fan. Now, the two fan connections. You, it doesn't matter which one you put, which one you, you use for the inside or the outside fan. One of the fans is gonna show you, is gonna help you monitor the RPMs with the chill control V software. Either one is the same, they're gonna be control as one. They're gonna go at the same speed. When you modify the speed with the software, it's gonna be for both fans at the same time. So it doesn't matter which one you connect to which cable, but you need to connect both fans to the header through the cable provided. And then keep it out of the way of the fan itself and out of sight if possible. So we'll, we'll put it behind the board once we're done. And now the USB 2.0 cable that goes to a USB 2.0 header on the motherboard. This is gonna help us control the fan speed and the pump and the lights by using this interface with the Chill Control V software on the computer. So that's it people, peace and I'm out.